one of the great world footballing fixtures of our time. Whenever, wherever it's played, two of the biggest our game has to offer always put on a show. And Las Vegas, Nevada, the perfect place for this particular stage. Allegiant Stadium packed to the brim for El Clasico. Two sides steeped in incomparable, incomprehensible history. A fixture that knows no boundaries. It's Real Madrid and Barcelona. Callum Williams alongside former Premier League defender Matt Lawrence as your commentary team. A fixture best described at times as a walking work of art. There are super clubs of our sport, they are super clubs of our world. They are Real Madrid and Barcelona. There is simply no comparison and Matt Lawrence a tremendous sense of occasion here today. Hey look at Callum, I'm not afraid to admit it, I've always been the biggest of football snobs about the meaningless of pre-season friendlies. But as Stephen Patrick Morrissey once said, this night has opened my eyes. This feeling, it has a true sense of occasion. I've had my own personal epiphany here, I really have. To see people descend on the city of sin from all over the globe has shown me that a football match in whatever guise means the world to so many. So forgive me, and my football snobbery is safely tucked away for tonight, Callum. As it should be. It is a sensational occasion. From all over the world, fans have flocked to watch their heroes. From South America to Central Europe, and even fans arriving from Asia here. And coming to the city of entertainment, indeed, to be entertained by their heroes and their sporting superstars. Matt Lawrence, what a fantastic evening we had ahead for us here. First and foremost, let's focus on the team, shall we? Barcelona, after finishing second once again to Real Madrid in the La Liga standings, a new centre-forward arriving, which was announced just several days ago, Robert Lewandowski, who starts today for Barcelona. What should we expect from him? What should we expect from Barcelona next season? Well, what we expect from Lewandowski is goals. That's the only reason he's come here. We know that they're absolutely overrun by debt Barcelona 10 figures worth of debt they have on them but Lewandowski has come here and it's all about goal scoring and it's all about propelling them not only domestically ahead of Real Madrid but also in the Champions League let's not forget they were knocked out in the group stages of the Champions League knocked out of the Europa League at the quarter-final stages by Eintracht Frankfurt Lewandowski has come here to propel them forward to propel them above the biggest clubs in the world and they need to do it that debt is there it's apparent we all know about it they have to overcome that debt and propel themselves forward we're talking of one of the very biggest teams in world football real madrid certainly fit that description champions of europe they were winners of la liga once again under carlo ancelotti who returned from a mid-season spell at everton no doubt plenty of expectation on real madrid as always moving into their campaign yeah, of course, and look, these are the champions of Europe, these are the champions of Spain. They are hoping to keep themselves on that pedestal. And when you have a, a manager of the ilk and the class and the desire of Carlo Ancelotti, even at his age, and I hope he forgives me, even at his age, he's still a born winner and he wants to keep going and going and going. He's not going to let this Real Madrid team rest on their laurels the minute they won La Liga the minute they won Champions League those medals were discarded he will have ordered them to be discarded and they've moved on literally the next day granted a night of celebration I'm sure but after that they would be fully focused on this season and what bigger an occasion than El Clasico in Las Vegas in front of this packed house this vociferous crowd Callum a crowd of over 65,000 were told inside the gorgeous Allegiant Stadium. A raucous roar to welcome the two teams. history and hysteria in itself inside the walls of Allegiant Stadium a gargantuan crowd for a juggernaut football match 
The eyes of the world fixated on Las Vegas, fixated on Real Madrid, Barcelona. Whether you're watching in London, Lisbon, Lahore, Liverpool, this is Las Vegas. Arguably the entertainment capital of the world and the perfect place for both to enthrall and compel. Handshakes are plenty and all eyes on Robert Lewandowski, the new Barcelona centre forward, making his debut today. So then let's focus on Real Madrid, then Matt Lawrence, your eyes focusing on both ends of the field today. Yes, yeah, certainly for me, this could be the end of the line for Eden Hazard and his Real Madrid career. I feel he needs to offer us something, of course not just tonight, this is still a pre-season friendly, whatever we think of this massive occasion. But we need to see something for him. He needs to stay fit and he needs to offer us what we saw at Chelsea. And talking about Chelsea, the other end of the field, I'm a defender by trade, all about Rudiger. What can he offer this Real Madrid backline? Can he offer stability alongside Militao? So then, from a Barcelona perspective, Xavi, the head coach, is in attendance, we're told. Five adjustments after that 6-0 thumping of Major League Soccer's into Miami. All eyes undoubtedly, though, Matt Lawrence, on Robert Lewandowski. And why wouldn't they be? We've seen his face flash up on the big screen time and time again. He's met rapturous roars every time we see his face. But he's all about goals, isn't he? Just under $50 million they paid to Bayern Munich for this guy who's 33 years of age, nearly 34. He hasn't got many years left, but if he can carry this Barcelona side to La Liga glory and then to Champions League glory, it will be worth every penny, even if he only lasts a season or two. So then, the fixture that he is more than familiar of, over 500 appearances, and 15 major honours as a Barcelona player, now in charge of steering the ship. Carlo Ancelotti, of course, returning to Real Madrid after success elsewhere. The former Juventus, Chelsea, Paris Saint-Germain and Bayern München man now again in charge of Real Madrid and delivered their 35th league title and their 14th Champions League triumph arriving from Everton last season. Well, regardless of this being a so-called friendly, this a fixture that lives right on the edge. In a place that often delivers sports right on the edge. A compelling and enthralling evening expected. And so, away we go. We welcome you to the planet's ultimate club game, this modern-day juggernaut of a football match, the champions of Europe, the conquerors of Spain up against the most envious and immaculate of rivals. A classic of its time and quite beautifully, appropriately named El Clasico. Welcome to one of the great thrills of our game. Welcome to Real Madrid versus Barcelona. An exhibition version of it, but Matt Lawrence, this will hardly be friendly here this evening. No, it won't be at all. And look, my football snobbery is well and truly in check. This is a, a massive game here, massive sense of occasion, certainly for all of the fans here, and of course for the players on show here as well. Both sides have gone with really strong lineups, and already we see in the middle third of the park the challenges are going to go in. This isn't going to be a particularly friendly friendly. Exhibit A, Robert Lewandowski, with a rather spontaneous and aggressive introduction to El Clasico. Here's Courtois. Real Madrid, of course, finishing above Barcelona in the standings in the La Liga table once again last year. 
champions of Europe after beating Liverpool in the UEFA Champions League final. He once again masterminded it. 13 points they finished ahead of second place Barcelona in the last campaign. Barcelona with no league title for the last three years as it stands. The La Liga trophy has found a home in Madrid in between both Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid. Barcelona in need of some fine tuning. And Robert Lewandowski, the well oiled Polish goal scoring machine, here to answer their call. Here's Araujo. Barcelona look for an early advantage here. And Sufati. Ball comes across goal. Scrambled away by Rudiger. Back in to the danger zone. And met in mid flight by Militao. Fast and frantic start to El Clasico here in Las Vegas. It is, and I think you make a really valid point, Callum, as well, about Barcelona and the fact that they've played second best to their biggest rivals, Real Madrid, for three years now. 2018-19 was the last time they won La Liga. And I think they want to put down a marker, and they want to put down a marker as early as possible. And that could start here in Las Vegas. Granted, no points are on show at all, but they started fast, they started frenetic Barcelona here. And there's a reason that they've brought in the likes of Rafinha. There's a reason they've brought in Lewandowski, Frank Kessie, Andreas Christensen as well. It is to propel themselves and to get a foothold not only in La Liga, but also Champions League and be successful again to back where they believe they belong. Here's Ansu Fati, gets the half a yard he eats. Tidied up by Rodrigo for Real Madrid. Vinicius Junior taken down, no free kick given. Here's Camavinga to tidy up. Vasquez. Amongst the crowd, Camavinga again. Alaba. It's the former Bayern Munich man who played alongside Robert Lewandowski for many a year. Barcelona forced into a defensive moment. Christensen coming across the cover. Yeah, about the first we've seen of Andreas Christensen, the man who's come across from Chelsea, of course, on a free transfer. A great sign in Christensen. Really is very solid defensively and suits the Barcelona mould as well. Very comfortable on the ball, will be more than happy to carry the ball out of the, out of the back. Jordi Alba interrogating pass forwards, and it's Courtois who is able to gather. Paul Snow, Karim Benzema for Real Madrid here this evening. He's of course joined them on this uh, pre-season tour of the United States, but Carlo Ancelotti neglecting to give him the opportunity of playing in front of the crowd here today. A very different role for Eden Azar up front for Real Madrid. And three goal. And the referee's been lenient in the opening five minutes. I absolutely concur, very lenient. Sometimes you like the game to flow, but also you don't really want to let everything go and just offer up the, uh, the players on the field. If they think the referee's been lenient in pre-season, they're going to have a little nibble in the middle of the park, aren't they? They'll put the challenges in. This cue on the far side from another new boy for Barcelona, Hafinha. Who's arrived after 11 goals in 35 Premier League appearances for Leeds United under the American Jesse Marsh last season. Yeah, and a poor Leeds United side as well. So to be scoring 11 goals in a in a side that just about escaped relegation, you know the guy's got talent, and he really did instigate this move between himself and Barcelona. There was no way in the world he was going to be allowed to stay at Leeds United. However much Leeds United coveted him, wanted him to stay, he was always going to be on the move. Similar to Calvin Phillips in a way, and Manchester City. Rafinha. Well, the most expensive signing of the off-season for Barcelona, costing the cool 48 million euros. Lewandowski, the most high-profile, though, no doubt about it. Here's Rodrigo. 
in his path by the ever so impressive Pedri in the centre of midfield. Here's Christiansen. Busquets. Delightful little dink forwards. Required an intervention which came from Alaba. Thibaut Courtois, immaculate goalkeeper on his day. Alba, to Stegen. I think it on hand here for Real Madrid. Militao. Antonio Rudiger, another full transfer arrival from uh, Chelsea in the off season. And the miscue, perhaps Barcelona can take advantage. Ansu Fati seems to get himself tangled up. And he certainly did get himself tangled up, Ansu Fati there. But also, you have to credit Lucas Vasquez for getting himself back, back into position. He had just vacated that right back berth initially, but got himself back in position. And talking about fullbacks, it looks as though Antonio Rudiger is playing as a left back at the moment. Certainly surprising to us, but I don't think it's just that's where he's positioned now. I think that's where he has been for the first few minutes of the game. And I think that's his position for the first 45 minutes. Certainly, my assumption, not why Real Madrid signed him to play as a left back, Callum. So we have left backs, Alaba into Fati. Pedri with a delightful ball to the far side, into the green booted Hafinha. Garcia brings it beautifully into the path of Hafinha once more. Here come Barcelona. Cafinha, twinkle toed, Busquets. Gavi. Barcelona happy to retreat for the time being. And already, short of 10 minutes, the Olays have started. Here's Cafinha. Twisting and turning. And this time, the standing fullback Antonio Rodriguez doing just about enough to thwart Hafinha. Well, his one on one test uh, defending is certainly going to be tested here, and you see it the quick feet, the trickery of Hafinha. But Rudiger stood up big and strong and he watched the ball, he wasn't watching the hip movements, he wasn't watching the body sways of Hafinha. Watched the ball and defended really well there, Rudiger. Madrid find something here from Verde. Delightful ball in towards in Azar. Defended by Garcia to Stegen. And to Busquets. Cleverly done by Robert Lewandowski. Barcelona pressing forward here. Lewandowski! Good save by Courtois. First real test of the Belgian goalkeeper this evening. And this is what the crowd came to see. That man there with a the ball at his feet, Lewandowski. But credit the defence of Real Madrid because they congregate around the German or the pole, Lewandowski. And as he strikes towards that near post, Ter Stegen gets down very well to his left hand side. Too wide though, too tight an angle really for Lewandowski to trouble Ter Stegen. Cleverly done. So fatty, unable to combine. It's not the best effort of Robert Lewandowski. Kamavinga comfortably into the path of Courtois. Just the 29 La Liga goals conceded last season for the Belgian. League winner with Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid and Chelsea. 15 clean sheets last season.
He has some work to do to give a clean shit here tonight. Lewandowski tipped away by Alaba. Rodrigo. Now the turn of Real Madrid. Vinicius Junior. Can they find something here? Rodrigo. Chormeni. Aurelian Chormeni. And now the Ole's starting from the Real Madrid fans. Azar. Vinicius Junior craving half a yard. Arriving with support is Rudiger. Took a deflection and scrambled away by Alaba. Well, the marauding Antonio Rudiger very much on show at the moment down that left hand side. As I say, this is not why Real Madrid bought him. Certainly, my assumption they didn't buy him to be playing as a left back. But playing as a left back, he is right now. Alaba and Militao. The left-sided and right-sided centre-halves. And he's really doing a job on Hafinha right now, is Rudiger. Alaba. Here's Eric Garcia, Spanish international. Just left Barcelona in 2017 for Manchester City, but then returned in 2021. Just 21 years of age. And for those potential suitors watching on, in case you're wondering, the buyout clause is just the 400 million euros. Rudia making the challenge necessary. Alaba getting the better of his former teammate, Robert Lewandowski. Here's Hafinha. Gavi. And Garcia once again. A way to pass from Christian Tech. He does raise the right arm in apologetic fashion. Another a clash between two former FC Bayern players here. Yeah, Alaba certainly with a raised foot there, Lewandowski just at the last minute, just ducked his head. Took a little bit of a nick on the shoulder, but he'll be all right, Lewandowski. So here he is again, Callum as well, Rudiger. You see him playing as a fullback, taking the throw-ins completely. Old school, old fashioned route, fullback right now, Rudiger. Very surprising, I think, to see him in that position. But he is, he's sticking limpet like to Rafinha at the moment. And so far, honours not quite even, honours really have gone to Rudiger. Well, he's had admirers in Madrid for many a year. The 29 year old joined in June after five seasons at Chelsea. Ironically, his last Chelsea goal came against Real Madrid in the UEFA Champions League quarter finals. Also, his best season at Chelsea was his last season. No surprise for me, you quite often see that, whether it's in, in football, whether it's in NBA, NFL players coming to the end of their contracts. They seem to find that extra 1% or 2% to show to potential suitors what they can do. And he's been able to find the extra 1 or 2 bodies this season, hasn't he, Carlo Ancelotti? Very, very busy, and once again, the uh, whole host of money spent by Real Madrid to keep themselves where many believe they belong towards the top end of European football. Busquets. Forward at the second time of asking, repelled by Alaba. And now Camavinga turning into trouble, but able to wriggle away. Never so delightfully. Rodrigo. Camavinga taken down. Referee immediately recognising the situation. Yeah, but great ball retention there from Real Madrid. And just that willingness to take the ball in tight spaces there from Camavinga. Got his body in between himself, went between the Barcelona player and the ball. First touch was spot on as well, just invited the challenge on and then went over. 
No surprise, really, that both sets of players willing to take the ball in tight spaces. The best of the best right here. Rodrigo going a little short. Courtois liking. Vinicius Junior taken down by a... Another reverse challenge from uh, Ronald Araujo. Uruguayan pleading his case. Here come Barcelona again. And Dombrovsky unable to find Hafinha. And Courtois, as well as Vasquez, came under pressure. Camavinga. And Barcelona defend another spring. And the counter press here from Real Madrid. Rudiger. Just away from the grasp of Azal. And the effort towards goal! Just a whisker away from opening the scoreline here in Las Vegas. Valverde coming within a whisker back. What a strike this is. It's a terrific first touch as well. Gets the ball out of his feet. The standing foot is off the ground as well. He hits it with full force with the laces of the right boot. And you see the goal shake, the camera shake. So close. A whisker away there, Valverde. So 18 minutes to pass, Matt Lawrence. Thoughts, observations? I quite like pre-season friendlies, Callum. I'm, I'm all for them. It's such a, not only is it a spectacle, but to see these players here as well, maybe not playing quite at full tilt. It's the first friendly for Real Madrid. And let's be honest, Barcelona weren't exactly tested against Inter Miami either. But this is being played at 90, 95%. And it's fun and it's exciting. And Sufati to uh, Jordi Alba. Araujo. Christensen, of course, brought into a back line that conceded 38 goals and 38 La Liga games last year. Busquets picked up into the sky by David Alaba. Miscue from Vasquez. And now Camavinga. Awkward turn from him, Fatty! Real Madrid's very nearly the architects of their own downfall. Well, and this is all about Camavinga. He tries a little Cruyff turn in his own penalty area and gets it all wrong. And so does Ansu Fatty, though. He goes with his left foot and the, out, the inside of his left foot is always curling away from goal. He needs to hit it with the laces over the outside of the left foot to keep it on target. It's a poor effort from Fatty, as it was from Camavinga. Now then, at the other end of the field, here come Real Madrid. Rodrigo. Azar. Rudiger. Can they find a way through on this occasion? Not if Araujo on the far side has anything to do with it. Superb piece of defending from the Uruguayan. It really was. The fence is on top right now. And one-on-one -on -one defending has been quite glorious so far. We've seen Rudiger on Hafinha. And there we see Araujo as well. Quite fantastic defending. Not willing to watch the body swerves, the hips move. It's all about focusing on the ball, keeping that low centre of gravity as well. And Araujo, he loved it. And then he fired the ball against the hoardings as well. Don't get kidded on that this is just a pre-season friendly. This means the world to some of these players. Javi. Hafinha's ball in. Way by the commanding head of Alaba. So Shagan forced a long way out. Calmly clipping into the channel. Well, as is the want of the modern-day goalkeeper, both... Courtois and Ter Stegen, so, so calm, under pressure and with the ball on their feet. Both have great starting positions. Ter Stegen, 
constantly 25 yards, 30 yards out of his goal. Always on his toes, always expecting a quick counter from the opposition. Busquets. And Valverde now into Eden Azal, who is tripped by the trailing leg of Hafinha. Well, it's not quite his position, is it? Eden Hazard is dropping deeper and deeper. He doesn't really want to be playing as that archetypal number nine. Yes, wearing the seventh shirt, but playing as a centre forward here. And as the game has progressed, Callum, he's been dropping deeper and deeper. And there we saw him being fouled in the centre circle. That's how deep he's dropping. Well, our coverage of the Soccer Champions Tour 2022 continues on Tuesday when FC Barcelona take on Juventus at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. That a 7.30 kickoff central time. Tuesday, Real Madrid take on Club America at the Oracle Park in San Francisco, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. And then Saturday, Real Madrid take on Juventus from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California at 7 p.m. Pacific. A fabulous pre-season tournament continues. With a treated to Juventus Chivas Guadalajara last night here in Las Vegas. Juventus victorious by two goals to nil. Lewandowski caught in the crowd. And Courtois thumping away. And it's intriguing, Callum, to see any time the ball goes near Lewandowski. The white shirts swarm around him, not just defenders, but the holding midfielders as well, whether it be Chiuamani, whether it be Kamavinga. They're getting around him. They're not allowing him too much time on the ball. Cavi. Combining with Hafinha. So Hafinha will leave the throw now for Araujo. Joined Barcelona B in 2018 from Boston River in Uruguay. Last goal for Barcelona actually came in a 4-0 victory over Real Madrid back in March. At the penultimate defeat of the La Liga season for Real Madrid. Robert Lewandowski. Continuing to show his new teammates what they have to aim for. And he'll be delighted to know the next competitive meeting between these two sides will actually be the 250th iteration. I think there's a sense of occasion today. Now defending to do for Real Madrid as Hafinha stands over and a myriad of maybes for Barcelona. They run themselves a throw on the far side. Scarlo Ancelotti replacing Adin Zidane in June. 11 major honours to his name. Won league titles in five different countries and the Champions League five times. Here's Garcia. Delightfully driven ball only into the path of Rudiger though. Kamavinga. Here's Rudiger again. And Real Madrid look to interrogate Barcelona. It's Rudiger and wide. Well, he may predominantly play as a centre-half, Antonio Rudiger. But look at this. The overlapping fullback picks the ball up from Camavinga just inside his own half. And with nobody closing him down, he decides to have an effort at goal. Should never be able to get within 22, 23 yards of the goal without being closed down. It's an unopposed strike. He has to do better there, Rudiger. So Stegen forced into a clearance. Arelian 
Chihameni forced into the pass out wide. Vasquez amongst the forest of Barcelona players pressing. And the a little uncomfortable. And giving the ball away, Hafinha! <laughs> Left off in Las Vegas! High press, high stakes, high reward! Hafinha with his second goal for Barcelona, who lead in Las Vegas in El Clasico! Well, you're told as a 12-year-old, never play ball square across the top of your own penalty area. And Militao doesn't heed that warning, and Javinha, this is quite exquisite. He couldn't have placed it any better. He hits it with the inside of his left foot, but with power. And there's absolutely nothing the best goalkeeper in the world, Courtois, can do about that. And boy, is Javinha happy with that. Leeds United fans know what he can do. And now Barcelona fans know what he can do. They will be delighted. As we insinuated earlier on Matt Lawrence, this may only be an exhibition game, but it feels it means so much more. This is now Azar. As Real Madrid look for an immediate response. Barcelona leading by one goal to nil. Hafinha's second goal in as many pre-season games. The question will now be, what sort of a response do Real Madrid have up their sleeve? How will Edgar Militao be thinking? What will he be thinking after giving away the ball so cheaply and so poorly? Well, he'll definitely be thinking, don't try and play square balls across the top of my own penalty area with my weaker left foot. Granted, a professional footballer should be two-footed, but he got it all wrong. And Rafinha just said, thank you very much. And in a split second, in a blink of the eye, almost the ball's in the back of the net. Nothing Courtois can do about that. Now then, here come Barcelona again. Pedri. Rudiger to meet it in mid-flight. Whilst we have a moment, Matt Lawrence, the... Two centre-backs for Barcelona, Christensen and Garcia, playing together for the first time. What have we made of them? What does your centre-half expertise think? Well, I think they're very thankful that they're playing up against Eden Hazard and not against Karim Benzema. Yeah, look, they haven't been tested. They haven't been tried, they haven't been tested. Hazard's never going to run in behind them, as we all know. And an Azad in the summer shouldn't really be wearing white. It's going to be another couple of months till he's at his peak fitness, that's for sure. And Garcia and Christensen are quite happy to deal with him right now. Afinha's ball in. Well oh, met in mid flight. Barcelona happy to retreat. Yeah, look, first and foremost, Christensen and Garcia know that Eden Hazard's not going to run away from them. They don't always have to get tight. He hasn't got electric pace at the best of times. Right now, certainly, he's not in peak physical condition. And it's comfortable. This is what you want as a centre-half pairing, Garcia and Christensen. You're getting to know each other. You're getting to know the flaws, the limitations in each other's games. And, of course, you're getting to know what the best of attributes are of each other. It takes a while, it takes time for those relationships to grow, but they're starting to grow here, that's for sure. Busquets. Jordi Alba. Tyson ball in for Fatty. Thumped away by Militao. Taking no chances this time. Rodrigo taken down and a free kick to Real Madrid. Rodrigo, former Santos winger, Vasquez, gets the half a yard he needs, nudged away by the head of Arajo, 
He picks up the ball again here, the Uruguayan. He fancies himself up against Rudiger. Araujo. And still Araujo. Pieces are picked up here by Ansu Fati. Rafinha. Rafinha Lewandowski! Well, they are all at sea right now, Real Madrid. It's all Barcelona. The ball is fizzed into the penalty area, and that's exactly what Lewandowski wants. He pulls off the defence, but let's credit Alaba. Terrific block. Rafinha's ball in. Way by the head of Rudiger. Jordi Alba. Playing with Rafinha. Real Madrid desperate to find a way out, so they can't at the moment. And Barcelona happy to find comfort in the centre half, Garcia, and now Araujo. Well, it's goals that Barcelona have needed, particularly over the course of the last 12 months. 68 scored last year, the lowest number since the 2003 04 season. Year where they finished second behind Valencia under Frank Reichardt. It's also the year that we were treated to the introduction of Ronaldinho from Paris Saint Germain. Well, they've certainly addressed the goal scoring issues. Hafinha with the goal here this evening, and Robert Lewandowski has shown he is still more than capable. Yeah, they've spent big money. They've gone big. They may be 10 figures in debt. May Barcelona, but they've had a go here, haven't they? This summer, and they may be players added on top of this. Now then, Robert Lewandowski, well charged down and into the path and the grasp of Thibaut Courtois. Alaba knows every trick Lewandowski has up his sleeve. Yeah, and you may know every trick, but sometimes it's hard to stop. We all used to know how Iron Robin would cut in from the right-hand side onto his left foot and curl it into the top corner, but it was tough to stop. First yellow card of the evening brandish out. Yeah, this is Christensen on Hazard. A comfortable decision and an easy decision for the referee to make right under his nose as well. Yellow card to Christensen. Referee positioned himself well. We don't always credit the referees with positivity, with good play. But that was good refereeing there. Good positional play as well. Militao forward for Valverde. Easily gathered by Tostegen. He's been the number one for Barcelona for many a year now, of course. Joined all the way back in 2014 from Borussia Mönchengladbach. Here's Ansu Fati, cleverly manoeuvring inside. And well defended by a retreating and desperate Lucas Vasquez. Fantastic defending from Vasquez here. Fati absolutely skipped by Militao. But Vasquez stayed strong, went shoulder to shoulder. Didn't just dangle a leg to be fallen over, just got a toe in. Fati. Jordi Alba's ball in. Way by Militao. Lewandowski got a hold of it. Last touch indeed did ricochet off of the new Barcelona centre forward and behind for a Real Madrid goal kick. He's going to be shooting from anywhere, isn't he, Lewandowski? Desperate for a goal here against rivals Real Madrid. He's had one effort from a really tight angle that was well saved by Courtois. This time a little double ricochet, but slightly unfortunate there, Lewandowski. And Lawrence, what have been the observations of the two young central midfielders for Barcelona, Pedri and Gavi? Pedri 19, Gavi 17. I haven't seen masses of them. They've been trying to play the ball out wide. Barcelona's seen a lot more of Ansu Fati and Hafinha, of course. But they've hold their, held their positions well, and of course, well marshalled by Busquets. The ages of the two youngsters just about the same as Busquets. 
36 for the two youngsters, Gavi and Pedri. And 34, of course, for Busquets. He will be talking to them the whole way through. And they've done well, they've hold, held their positions. But we haven't seen the trickery and the true genius of the two youngsters yet. And I don't think we've had to. I think Barcelona have been very dominant so far inside this opening 36 and a half minutes without truly extending themselves. I well, know that they'll learn a thing or two from him as well. Xavi watching on. Well, it's great to see Xavi here as well after not being let into the country. I know there's certainly a few immigration issues, but wonderful to see him here in Las Vegas. Well, unsurprisingly, one or two choice words between a Real Madrid and Barcelona player. I'd imagine that's the last time we'll say that particular sentence this evening. Well, certainly not while Real Madrid are getting outplayed as well, not just in terms of the scoreline, obviously one nothing to Barcelona, but you look down at possession stats, 56% at least to Barcelona. Six shots, two on target, not a single shot on target for Real Madrid so far. There's Camavinga, lifted beautifully into the path of Vinicius Junior. Real opening here, really good block, and Barcelona lives to fight another day. Stupendous piece of defending from Christensen, who stood his ground impeccably. Absolutely, that stood his ground, didn't sell himself, focused fully on the ball. Araujo may have got absolutely done the right back. Yes, a little bit fortuitous, but Christensen comes across, covers behind his fullback, as any good right-sided centre-half should do. And stood strong, made that block as well. Still no shots on target. Part of that is down to the good defending from Barcelona. Part of it down to the lack of quality from Real Madrid. And talking about lacks of quality, you don't very often see foul throws between teams of such Ilk, such wonderful talent as this. Araujo with a foul throw. Here's Courtois. Aurelian Chouhameni into the path of Militao. Won't be infused to find himself with the ball on the edge of his own penalty area again, I'm sure. Another robust challenge from Busquets on Camavinga. Yeah, they're really pushing high, aren't they, Barcelona? They're not giving a moment's respite to the likes of Militao or Alba when they're in possession. They're closing them down right up to the top of the penalty area. Intervention needed again. Here's uh, Hafinha, the Barcelona goal scorer, for those of you joining us late. Stegen. Clipped beautifully into the path of Jordi Alba. And Sufati. Glorious pass inside. Here's Gavi. Now Hafinha to the back post. And well gathered and watched by Thibaut Courtois. Robert Lewandowski showed a particular interest. Rodrigo and Azar. Can he have a moment in the game? Vinicius Junior still unable to find a way through. And uh, another abrasive piece of defending from Araujo. Robert Lewandowski now forward, and it's last forward in towards the path of Ante Fati, who is flagged offside. A little too eager on this particular occasion. But on a night like this, Matt Lawrence, you can hardly blame him. No, not at all. And look, we've just seen two contrasting moments from Araujo. A brute of a defender one second, and then a wonderful crossfield ball the next. Vinicius Junior lays it across goal. Valverde! And wide. From one end of the field to the other for Real Madrid. And he rattled the woodwork with a strike, Valverde, earlier in the game. This time, a slightly more difficult effort. 
The ball comes out to him, and he just tries with the outside of his right foot just to curl towards the top far corner of Ter Stegen's goal. Really difficult skill from Valverde. Real Madrid will carry on. Here's Camavinga. Valverde turning into trouble. Rodrigo. And still, Rodrigo. Really well watched and gathered by Testegen and Gil to Barcelona. Well, the anticipation here. The safe pair of hands from Ter Stegen at the near post. As Rodrigo tries to whip the ball across the face of the six-yard box. Lovely lofted ball forward. Perhaps an opening here for Pedri. Stopped in his tracks for the time being. Barcelona still in possession and Pedri having a bit of fun in the midfield as well. Now Real Madrid manoeuvre forwards. Here they come, Rodrigo taken down, and a free kick and a yellow card brandished. As the decibels rise inside Allegiant Stadium. And a little bit of afters between the two sets of players. And here we go, El Clasico, we have it on our hands right here. If you think pre-season friendlies are meaningless, just look at this here. No love lost between these two. And I'm not getting in between Araujo and Rudiger either, that is for certain. Two brutes of defenders. Tall, muscular, physical, and that will to win, that drive to win, the pure desire that has made them what they are today. It's right here on show. And here it is, Vinicius Junior. Avails one challenge, but then is absolutely scythed down. It's a poor challenge on Vinicius Junior, but it was always coming. And then the afters in the background as well. Busquets getting fully involved. Eden Hazard just grabbing hold of him. But then it escalates Callum. Well, one would assume that Rodrigo would be able to shake it off. Confirmation of that yellow card for Jordi Alba. Well, what this does, Matt Lawrence, is it presents an opportunity from the set piece for Real Madrid, 25 yards from goal. Javi makes his way to the edge of his technical area with a rather concerned look. And uh, Militao limping away from the situation. Well, the referee's just about got the situation under control now. Little flourish of the yellow card, but they're coming together. Eden Hazard obviously playing very much the peacemaker. The second slowly ticking away here at the end of the first half. But it looks like Alaba fancies this one. So will it be? It'll be the left foot. In the end, high and behind from Alaba. So then, Matt Lawrence, observations on the opening 45 here in Las Vegas. Well, I've been thoroughly entertained, that's for certain. As of right now, Barcelona very much the better team. They're pushing high up the field, really pressurising Real Madrid. Yes, Real Madrid have come into the game in the last few minutes, but you have to credit the defensive stability of Barcelona, but also the quality in the, the attack. The likes of Ansu Fati and Rafinha have been absolutely majestic so far. Well, there we have the half-time whistle. Unsurprisingly, 
a classic in El Clasico, in the entertainment capital of the world. We have been enthralled in the opening 45 minutes. A single, solitary, spectacular goal from that man, Hafinha. The difference on the night so many have waited for here in Las Vegas. At the break, Real Madrid nil, Barcelona 1, El Clasico tilts in favour of Barcelona for now.